Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. In the first two videos, we took a look at getting PAT installed and configured, and then we got rig control up and running. I'll leave a link for those two videos down in the description box below in case you stumbled upon this video first. Today, we'll be taking a look at getting RDOP up and running. RDOP is one of the newest uh, WinLink standards for working HF. So let's jump right into it. All right, here we are on John Wiseman's download page, and I'll leave a link to this page down in the description notes below, uh, so you'll be able to find it there. Uh, but here we are on the page. First thing we're going to do is scroll down to here. Uh, we're looking for this Pi R.C. Now, uh, there's also a new one that's come out, Pi R.2. Um, that one, to my understanding, is not yet supported. Hopefully, they'll be pushing that out soon, and when they do, we'll go ahead and make an updated version of this video. But for now, let's look at uh, Pi RDOP C. The, what so, we, what we'll do here is we'll right click on the Pi RDOP C and click Copy Link Address. Let's head back over to the terminal window. All right, so now that we're back in our terminal, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we'll need to make a new directory and we'll just call this RDOP. And let's go ahead and move over to the RDOP directory. Once we're inside the RDOP directory, we're going to use the wget command. And then we will paste in that link address that we copied off of the web page. And this will go ahead and download that to this directory. So we'll just do a list command and we'll see that we've got pi rdop c there in the directory. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make that uh, pi rdop c an executable. So we'll do a chmod plus x and pi rdop c. All right, after we've done that, we'll run the list command again. And depending on your terminal window, this one uh, shows me that it's in green. So that tells me that it's now an executable file. Okay, so let's just clear our screen here. Now we need some other information about our sound card. So I'm going to run uh, a record dash L. Um, and that will tell us what our audio devices are that's connected to the Pi. Uh, you'll see here that I've got the USB audio codec. That's my signal link that's showing up. And it's card one. So that's information we need before we can uh, start RDOP running correctly. All right, so now that we have the information at the top, let's go ahead and get PAT and the Pi RDOP C running. So the first command will be nohup pat http and then the and symbol. We'll go ahead and click return and then return again. We'll dump you back out. Now that just started pat in the background. And then the next command we will need is pi r.c 8515 plug hw colon one comma zero and then repeat that again plug hw colon one comma zero now what this is it's telling it which program to start the port here which matches up uh what's typed into the pat configuration file and then the one zero here is coming from up here card one device zero so, and that gets repeated twice. So we'll go ahead and start that as well. And it helps when you can spell things correctly. Okay, so now we need to find a station to connect to. So let's head over to the WinLink uh, email page. And from the main page at uh, winlink.org, we're going to click on the Tools tab here. And that's going to bring up a map for us uh, that we can view. So we'll get zoomed in here a little bit closer on the states. 
Now, we also need to, there's a bar right across the top. It's a little hard to read sometimes depending on the background, but we're looking for RDOP station. So we'll click on RDOP and let that sort out. And this will list all of the RDOP stations across the uh, United States. It'll actually list them all the way across the world depending on where you're zoomed into. I know one of my favorite stations to connect to is right here. Uh, it's a hybrid station in Florida, KX4Z. So let's go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up a bubble for us. Um, and you can see that he's running an RDOP station on several frequencies here, 80 meters, 40, 30, and 20. So I'm looking for the 40 meter uh, frequency. Now here you'll see that the frequency is listed as 7103.5 kilohertz. That is the center frequency and not the dial frequency of the radio. To get the dial frequency, you need to subtract 1.5 kilohertz from that. Uh, so in this case, that would give us 7102. So let's note the call sign and the dial frequency that we need, and we'll go ahead and jump into the PAT mailbox. Okay, so now that we're here in the PAT mailbox, we want to click on the action button up at the top and the connect. All right, for our transport mode, we'll need to select RDOP. We'll need the call sign of the, uh, of the station, that was KX4Z in our case. And then here in the frequency, we're just going to enter 7102. And like I said, I'm not connected to a radio, so I'm not going to click the connect button. But this, uh, once you click the connect button, it would start uh, trying to make a connection to the KX4Z station. And that's all there is to it, uh, to getting RDOP up and running. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the uh, comments below. I'll try to help the best I can. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Next time around, uh, I'll show you how to create some aliases up here so that you don't have to key this information in each time. You'll just be able to click on something and it'll auto-populate the boxes that you need. Alright, we'll see you guys on the next video.